everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar, and I'm here with Ariel. Ariel, there you go. Just first name, no, like it. Prince. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna go that route. Yeah, dude. Sign your name as the big A. <laughs> I kind of always do sign just my first name. Um, how's things going? How's work? And good. Uh, super busy. Yeah. Uh, super psyched about uh, one project in particular that I was telling yeah. you about. Yeah. Once once I get done with it, I'm just it's going. Done. Yeah, I'm gonna nonstop yeah. talk about it. Make some comments. Yeah. 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 So. Um, Psyched. what are you, anything you're reading right now? Um, and, uh, it's kind of cool. I'm rereading The Stand. It's not a comic book, but okay. I love, uh, it's my favorite Stephen King book. And then I'm looking at a lot of stuff. I'm not really reading it. Mm -hmm. Just looking at a lot of like art. Uh, there's a new, uh, uh, Jodorowsky Ladrone El oh, Topo book oh, really? that I just picked up. And it looks really? it's just so beautiful. I mean, Ladrone is... I Jose love Ladrone. is amazing. I, I, I mean, I, I met him at Con. He's a great guy. Yeah, he's super Jose. nice. Super nice. You met him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's nice actually guy. working. You know Pepe Moreno? Mm, no. He's another guy that we should probably talk about at some mm. point. A uh, uh, guy that like uh, did a lot of work in heavy metal and uh, and in 1984 and stuff like that. He yeah. he was. Uh, it's really, really amazing artist, kind of in that same vein as Enki Bilal and, yeah. and Kaza and guys like that. And Ladrone's not that old. I thought he was older, but no, he's not. He no. came to my booth. He he's liked my book. He's like, oh, this is great. And he was, wow. we're talking about translating. <laughs> and I was like, I want to translate. He's like, you should translate into French. Because I was oh. going to do it in Spanish. Because I'm like, there's more humans that speak Spanish yeah, than French. Sure. But he's like, no. You got to go French, and here's the the translator you should use. Oh, so wow, I reached out to them, idea. but it was like yeah, I didn't have I'm the sure. bones to translate to French. And then if I would you want did to it in Spanish, it. would you tr translate it yourself? I probably would have a professional yeah. because while I'm fluent, I would want someone who's like an editor to do it. You know, sure. who like knows, yeah, yeah, yeah. who can also the do it, the nuances like. and the joke. You know, all that yeah. kind of like things like that. Um, and my partner. Jose Pescador, who did the penciling, he wants in Spanish too because yeah. he speaks Spanish. So it would be great, but just from a finance perspective, it was funny. Ledron said, "You got to go French because that's where that's it's a great." I mean, yeah, I never. It's such a huge market yeah, that actually of comic readers. Yeah. more so actually, than a continent, yeah. <laughs> than, than like South America. Yeah, I find that fascinating. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of uh, South American comics. Oh yeah, too. there are. Yeah, but, but I mean, I guess when you think of the big, when you think of the comics globally, yeah, there's English, there's Japan, and then there's this Franco-Belgian, like, yeah. you know, and then you think of Italy, you know, you know, Italian comics but and yeah, all that days, but yeah, that, the Franco-Belgian thing it, is like, it's, it's a different, it, it's accepted on a different level. Yeah, too. Like, like Japan. Like Japan. Like, and a more so than we are ever were. For some reason, yeah. we can't get yeah. it together here and yeah, like weird. accept. I mean, yeah, that's weird. But we're gonna talk about some uh, Italians and and French and all that. Some kind of Spanish stuff. guys. Some Spanish guys. Um, we're gonna talk about heavy metal issue four. Uh, this is July of seventy seven. So we're still monthly at this point, yeah. right? So it's still monthly. It's coming out. Um, I would love to look up the sales numbers and yeah. like was this going up was yeah. it you know what I mean? I, it'd, I it'd be no fascinating to look at it from a economics like was this hurting national lampoon was it you know or the company you know was it doing well i'd, I'd be interested to see because yeah. this is kind of america's first taste at these artists first right? taste and also first tasted adult themed yeah. comics too yeah i mean yeah you know uh um Will Eisner was doing stuff, right? But it wasn't, you know. This is like a lot of gratuitous, yeah. kind, kind of, yeah. you know, TNA kind of stuff. Right. This is the the Cinemax version. Yeah, yeah. You it's, know, it's of of you kind know. of lowbrow, I guess, in a way. Yeah, I can I see mean, that. There's you know, where it's like Eisner had more lofty aspirations right, of, kind of, of like and, more literary kind of yeah. approach to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Th th this this yeah. stuff was also a. Uh, first introduction into like more adult themed yeah. comics yeah. and it's balls to the wall yeah and that's what I love about it it's heavy metal yeah. I mean you know it's it is, heavy it is metal it, the name is perfect 
Yeah. It's just they like got it right. this is just like you know ACDC comics. Yeah. Okay, let's go and dive into it. Cool. Okay. That was cool. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back. Okay, we're doing issue cuatro here. Did you watch? I did. I re, did. I uh, upload the episode of um, my show, Art of Comics, with Love and Rockets. Yeah, but I haven't seen that one. Well, yet. I did. All, I started doing it in Spanish, and I kind of want to do a full episode in Spanish and have oh, wow. subti American subti English subtitles. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I will, but. I thought it'd be kind of fun. You don't speak Spanish, do you? Yeah, I speak you do. Spanish. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, you, I didn't know you speak Spanish. You will, you will need subtitles in Spanish when I speak Spanish. <laughs> okay. so my, my, yeah, my Spanish, Is my accent's rusty? horrible. Is it rusty? Okay. No, it's not rusty. I, I speak yeah. Spanish all the time. I just oh, have dear. a horrible. Oh. I'm very self conscious of my English accent. Oh. And uh, no, nah, but I read it. Right. Oh, it. oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, dude. Okay, yeah. we'll have to do a, a Spanish. We should do like a Tijuana Bible episode. Yeah, or Argentine <laughs> comics, but, man. Or I Argentine got a bunch of Argentine yeah. comics that are, are anthology comics from really? my jam. So I have a bunch of. Uh, I lived in Argentina when I was like Shut uh, up. 70. Well, I was born there, but I moved here when I was three. So I'm, a, I'm an immigrant. I'm legal, so don't come get me. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, you but, were born there? Yeah, we moved and you to moved the States. To, to the. When the, I was three. New York. When yeah. You were three. Uh, right. Lived there till, and then like 77 to 78, my, my mom and dad decided to move back down there. Like, to Argentina. Yeah. So, which was like probably the worst yeah, <laughs> time yeah. ever to move back to Argentina. Yeah. Was but it like, during some political Oh, yeah. Calamities? yeah it was like, a, uh, that was when the Junta was in power. Post, oh. post Perón's second. After Perón's wife, not Avita, like his okay. second wife, okay. was like elected president. There was a coup, so it was a military oh. uh, junta running the country, and it was really, really weird. But um, yeah, there was some personal reasons why oh, my okay. mom wanted to move yeah, back yeah. down there, yeah. and so we, you know, I lived there for a year, and uh, I there was uh, this comic called uh, El Tony, I think it was mm. called. That was a anthology comic that had like nothing but like westerns and mm. war comics, that and in good. black and white they were like that sounds thick. cool. Yeah, I'll show you a copy later. Yeah, uh, but that sounds cool. Yeah, great, great stuff. It's some great okay. comic art. Yeah, man, I'm all about Spanish. Um, another, uh, you know, these are interesting too because I feel like um, the art. You know, nowadays you would do it big or you yeah. cover it up. This feels just like this nice little piece, and they just kind of put this yeah. label on. I mean, w w not a perfect... Like uh, the, uh, you know what I mean? The, what, not what a like, like we were talking about graphic design before. Yeah, not, not a, maybe strike, not a perfect yeah. graphic design, but like willing to take a chance and yeah. like how to display the art. Like, yeah. yeah. It's an interesting choice. Yeah. I like the black on white. The black on white's is, really cool. It's really strong. I do like that too. Like if know, this was blue, I don't think that would necessarily I don't work. know the reason why. Most of the time when they do this type of thing, they cut it off here, like all the way. I yeah. don't know what the order. Yeah, I don't know if they just didn't want to stretch it or I don't know. Okay. We've got this. Oh, this is a different ad. A little different one here. Super Tramp. Super Tramp. <laughs> That's awesome. That definitely dates the That's top. That's awesome. I never tried that. I before. like this too. Yeah. These are great little. I like uh, these little like sketches pieces. things. Yeah, I like that little goblin guy. He was great at drawing, just like yeah. weird, weird. And from what I when I saw the thing, characters. he would just sit here and draw. I mean, I don't yeah. think he would sit here and plan it out, sk sk sketch it out. He would just sit here and draw this out, kind of yeah. like June uh, June Kun King. What's his name? <laughs> the Korean guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, June, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, where he'll just he'll, like, draw a mural, and he's like, yeah. he there's a motorcycle, there's a girl with a balloon. There's, I'm like, what the hell? Just doing it. Yeah, I don't even understand that. Like, from a Yeah, no, I would have to brain. plan that out for Yeah, like that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make redraw sense. Redraw it 50,000 times, yeah. and it still look like yeah, shit. Yeah, everyone would. Only him. Uh, Okay. Man, does this guy not have just an eighty styles? And look at this. this. So this is a new story. Oh no, no, this is from issue three. This is part two, right? Because issue three had this guy, these guys together. No, I think we right? just we we looked at this. Oh, 
but, but it was. It oh, wasn't. so this is the beginning yeah. of this. And this is this is interesting because okay. it's written by Philip yeah. Philip Drillet and illustrated by Mobius. Yeah. They were buddies. If you ever see the uh, Mobius documentary, mm -hmm. the BBC one. Yeah, I okay, think it's yeah, BBC. Yeah, yeah. There's there's. Yeah. Uh, on YouTube. It features some uh, Droulé interviews in there where he oh, talks really? about his relationship with Mobius. Really cool. So they were contemporary. They yeah. were probably around the same age, I'm assuming. Yeah, they were both, they were both French. Both, okay. Yeah. They both started out in Pilot, I think is the name of the, the okay. magazine. P-I-L-O-T-E, which okay. was a four uh, runner to uh, Metal, Metal Herlock. Herlock. Okay. Yeah. Another anthology. And would they work, like, do they have, do you know anything about, like, New strips was there? Was there other avenues besides this magazine to kind of like get work? I don't know how big news strips were yeah, in, in or, France. I I, uh, I I never really have. I mean, was even Tintin, well, right. which is kind yeah, yeah, of like yeah. in 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 That's feel right, reminds me of like a newspaper yeah. strip, but like even that I think was were collective so volumes. Was it? I hmm. think it was just a different. Yeah. It's a different. Tintin's awesome, by the way. Yeah, it's I great. just looked at some, yeah. and you know what else I saw at that shop it's fun actually stuff. was Little Orphan Annie. Yeah, I remember that comic strip. That, that comic yeah, yeah. Strip and I was like, this is kind of good. Like the three dimensionality, like the forms. Like oh, this is actually pretty neat. It's pretty good. Yeah, there are a lot of amazing cartoonists yeah. like from that era. That yeah, that... like Nemo. Did you ever get into Windsor McKay? Only recently, whoa. like I didn't. I, yeah, that's. I, I just got to him recently too. too, and I was like, "Whoa, his stuff is great." Yeah, but I it's, mean, even like, even yeah, like early yeah. Peanuts, Calvin and Hobbes, like Calvin just got and into Hobbes Calvin and, Hobbes. Just got into Watterson. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, I've been, I've been reading that to my little boy. And speaking so of, yeah, that's great. That's, that's it's great. fun. I did that with my daughter too. Did you? Yeah, I turned her on. Fun. To me. He's like, why is the the uh, the cat alive and not? This is because when when it's just adults, it's a toy. But when they're alone, he's like a live tiger, and it's like it's kind of fun the imagination. This is great. I love all this. Yeah, huge. Little... Yeah, it's like the the yeah. rendering, the the cross hatched on this yeah. again. Uh, like we were talking about it before, like not every line there defining mm -hmm. form. It doesn't mm -hmm. look overworked. Yeah. I love the blacks here. This is and then, yeah, the great this, contrast this great, yeah, on that his, where he does a lot of clear line kind of yeah. stuff. And then... Whoa. And then... This, this like almost looks... Style. This is like a different... More like Joule... Yeah. Is he inked doing... by Mobius? Yeah. I wonder, because uh, that's very much like... Right. Like, is he kind of aping it or trying to give him that feel? Because this looks like traditionally what you would say is Mobius. But this... And then the it has a different like, feel thicker to it. brush. It could just yeah, could just be him. He's master he's just like look at I'm stuff. going yeah. to use a brush on yeah. this one page. Right. Just to mess with everybody. Well, maybe yeah, I don't know. Maybe it it's was like a, 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 a deadline thing and like. Yeah. It's like screw it, I gotta get. Hey Phil, finish this page. For yeah. Me. Okay, we're back to Dan. We've met Kara. I think his name's Kara. Or Kath. I Ka think. Kath. That's yeah. what it is. So she's now his, her, his little buddy, uh, physically resembling a little bit the bad woman, but she's yeah, he's pretty much sticking to one body type. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the model. That's his wife, and so it's like, hey, I need you to model for all these. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what his wife. I, is. I really. This like looks like a photo, darn it! I'm telling you. Yeah. I know you're saying it's not, but my gosh, those clouds look so good. Yeah. It's interesting too. He always did these black. He does these like outlines. Contour lines. These, these like big yeah. black, almost like a uh, cartoon, you know, right. animated. But, but yeah, then he but, but then he'll paint it. And then sometimes he'll he'll let the background. Um, so he kind of switches around. Like here, he doesn't do that, right? Well, you could see a, a little, little bit, of it. A little bit. But it works. What do they call yeah. that kind of light lighting? Um, I forgot. I read it in like a broom. Garth or some some kind of uh, illustrator trick where the mm -hmm. outlines kind of used to indicate some kind of shading. Well, the colors here. Yeah, this the, the openness in this particular series of pages, like yeah, with the white. Yeah, really works, doesn't it? It's like yeah. this. This is a lighter moment. Yeah, this is here. Yeah, good point. Like no danger. Yeah, open, so, open. This is open. 
And it really works. Yeah, yeah, it really does. It does make it look... Yeah, you do feel that. Yeah. And then the, the panels with the evil uh, yeah. queen. Right. Like, go Close back to in. that palette, that, yeah. that orange and Here's blues. a part where it just chopping out the art, the just a, just a shit ton of text. Yeah. It's a lot of... That's a, that's a big like, freaking paragraph. What the paragraph. hell's going on with the typesetting? It's all like yeah. offset. Like and he's... He's Off using register. double double spaces between periods. I mean, he's going hardcore. Even here, yeah, he's um, fitting it to the the what you uh, call, what do you call that? There's a name for that. A kerning. Yeah, where you where you fit it to the edges. So yeah. no matter what, you're oh, gonna get uh, something yeah, yeah. there on the edges. I don't know what it's called. Some kind of justification. Yeah, yeah. Justification, but I don't know that. I want to learn that, but I don't. I guess I don't want to learn it because I'm not learning. Doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as you know how to do it. Like I know like what you're talking about. In, in design, have button. all these little like things that you can like. Photoshop does too, yeah. and I and know I the like, button uh, to press for that, but I can't remember <laughs> what it's called. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. These cool effects, man. He's got these really cool background effects. I dig yeah. it. And he's got these weird little strange. I just things. I love I love the juxtaposition of the white against these full it really mm -hmm. makes this yeah like so much stronger too right and that's a great panel yeah it like, is uh, look at that face too it's uh, the rendering on yeah but the little cartoon little yeah. more of a oh, that was it and then now we're in a little um prose piece by walter perry with art by i don't know let me say up front. Prince of Mist. Let's see who this is, so we can give credit. To yeah, there uh, would be a. Oh, this is Walter Perry. I wonder yeah. if, I wonder if he did it. Or just they're like they're screw just, the yeah, artist. Yeah. It's only one. Other yeah. Screw him. Dude. There you go. Go ahead. Sign in. Send it's that look in at all order. these things. Look at all these weird, horrifying, beautiful, incredible, outrageous, monstrous, grisly, magnificent. Just every adjective, <laughs> dreamlike, sensuous, a masterpiece. They really, masterpiece. really leaned on yeah. Richard Corbin too yeah. for these advertisements. Yeah. Because he was around to do it. Yeah. He, they could call him up in Kansas or wherever he was at. Or you could just send him one of his 50,000 <laughs> yeah. paintings that yeah. he's done. Oh, this, doing is a lot guy, of... this is that guy too. That oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is cool stuff, too. I do like it, actually. I'm kind of warming up a little bit to it. It is, like you said, a little more, I would say, pedestrian. Yeah. Not as a not an insult, but just, you know, a little bit more, you not know. Not as much character. Yeah. But people but, talk uh, about that all the time. There's guys that are super. But it's good. Super... But, I mean, it's, it's good. It's He's more of a, just a draft, or like a workhorse, or, you know. Yeah. I mean, this uh, is all incredible work beyond yeah. what I'm capable of doing. But I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um. But also too, if it's also like in the camera, in the, in the camera, the 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 point of views that he uses, mm -hmm. like you know, if you do a side by side with somebody like Richard Corbin, even, and not don't even consider the color work, but like <clears throat> consider the way that he he's choosing to like place the camera, mm -hmm. right? Because that's yeah. kind of the way I think of it, right? Yeah, like. Yeah. Um, the like he'll choose an angle that like is really foreshortened or really mm -hmm. allows for exaggeration to like right. emphasize a particular yeah. action scene or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is more just straight on all the way through, right? Which is clear, clearer storytelling maybe, but less dynamic, right? And then every now and then he'll like this is nice. Of, he'll kind of break out of the mold a bit and kind of come up with something yeah. a little more graphic design, a little coll collage yeah. kind of thing. I like that. I'm not so big fan of that face, but we're not gonna. It's a little. We're not gonna criticize. <laughs> I just did, but I like that. That's kind of cool image. That's a good panel. Yeah, that's really neat. Yeah, it was referenced very well, though. You could tell. That's cool. Dig it. And he's good to horses. This whole costuming. Okay, ninety six again. Which was again. the future at this time. Yeah. It didn't trip me out. Like I was watching 2010 and 2001, and, and like I still think of those things as happening in the future. Right. Oh yeah. Well, didn't like uh, Blade Runner just happen this year? Yeah. Right. Like, like 1984. Like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 84. Man. But it, it just took a few years to catch up. 
Yeah, this guy's great. I do this like boss, his texture. I like this yeah. texture. Stuff. I just like the super clean, bold mm -hmm. lines. This reminds me of stuff that you would see in Zap. Like this kind of, oh, yeah. a little bit of that, um, you know. More American um, underground or, comics. Yeah, it does kind of give me that. Um, I, to to my know. eye, I feel like he's heavily influenced and... by American <clears throat> comic artists. Yeah, underground comic, yeah. And and even the mainstream Berkeley. comics to a certain degree, because mm. you would see these bold lines, yeah. bold, clean lines. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about, uh, like, you know, Jack Kirby, like, yep. inked by Chick Stone or Mike Rohr mm -hmm. or somebody super slick like that, wet yeah. brush style. Yeah, that's a great page. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. That mouth is great. Good. See, this is where we're incorporating, you know, words and images together in a great, great way. Well, yeah, but even the word balloons as well, like, yeah. take into consideration yeah. the placement. Yeah, of, they put them underneath the face. and you This, know. to me, is like the hardest part of comics making. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's tricky. It's just, There's definitely a and science it, it, to it, it. It adds and detracts so much. Like, yeah. you know, if you contrast the lettering and word balloon placement... Uh, from this to something like Dan, mm. there's a huge, huge difference. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely like a yeah. Robert Crumb kind yeah. of vibe to it, right? And I really like these. He's actually, his page layouts are really good. They're I really like these panels, how it's moving through the story. Yeah, and, and sort of really unconventional like approach to like the panel borders mm -hmm. themselves, like yeah. using these shapes. Drulet also does that in a very different way, but it's also very interesting yeah. how he incorporates the panels. Technology, he'll put like little yeah, like that, uh, that technology kind of bits. He'll even make the word balloon kind of techy, you know. Uh, I love that. Which is which is kind of fun. I always feel like he's just kind of playing, you know. Just Maybe enjoying. Feel that. Yeah, it's cool. I dig the art a lot. Yeah, I like this guy a lot, and he does he does these short stories a lot in these early issues. I don't know a lot about like his his story, like mm -hmm. his own. What is this little like ad for? Uh, it's like an EC Comics EC, reprints. Like, collections, huh? Oh. That was like way way yeah. early on. So but, this uh, is a different. So this well, is. I love different. the way that he. Is he always doing like, that? Is yeah, he, he changes he it said? all the time. It's Arzak, but it's just spelled in every possible configuration oh. of how you can spell the phonetically. I love, I love the way that kind of like a... Pushes back. Pushes back the darkness there and everything. The coloring is really cool. Yeah, just like incredible yeah. line work. Like, yeah. how do you do this and not make it, like the, the, the not make it look overworked? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they always wordless? Yeah, the Arzak oh, ones. Are. Always are. Yeah, there's um somebody did an animated version of it. It's very really? it's like limited animation. Looks like it was made in like Flash or something. Huh. And, but they're still kind of interesting because they still they still you, and you can find it on YouTube. Arzak cartoon really? by Mobius. Yeah. Um, huh. It's still Maybe, interesting as yeah. as some kind of. Wow, that's a great page. Animated version of this. That's amazing. This is like a poster, right? I think we've seen... There's got to be some posters that are this. Now, this is the one carryover. Like, uh, like in oh, the so, heavy the, metal movie... Is this, is this the cover? See, oh, no. Oh, it's... They uh, flipped it. Flipped it. Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder why they... Because they could have... So, they could have cut it all the way out. There's more art here to that. No, no. No, there's not. No, it cuts off there. Yeah, but there's more art this way. Yeah, they would have had to have kept it. The, maybe just they had to have kept really it going that way. To, but maybe if he's going this way, he's not looking heavy metal. See here, he's kind of like uh, your eyes going to the the title. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is great. And the painting too. Again, this painting here is really great too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just really good. Amazing color sense, just complete. So much Control. going on here, just like you get lost in all these little guys battling. Yeah, but there, if monsters. you take a close look at it, it's all pretty detailed stuff. Yeah, That's it's also in the heavy metal movie. This is the yeah. only Mobius character that made it right. to the heavy metal movie, like right. that Charna se mm -hmm. segment at the end. Yeah, is that the, the, the girls' writing? Yeah, yeah, what's your face? 
Oh wow! This. I love this. I love that skull with the. This bat looks wings. like Drew Light a little bit. Yeah. You know, kind of reminds me of that. I'm it's sure they technology. like being being buddies and looking yeah. at each other's art stuff. They would probably be like, "Oh, oh man, that's cool." Like, I'm take again, some. I like these darks. It just looks really cool. This actually even gives me a vibe of uh, Geigerish. Yeah. Just the this black metal right. that he's and on it's and kind of organic. Yeah, and it's just like shapes. dark and like the Gadoon. He's like in Arrakis with some yeah. kind of a you know gonna meet the um, Harkonnens or something. <laughs> Can't wait for that. That can't is it wait a, for is it a movie or something. Right? Yeah, Dennis or the Villeneuve. TV show or a movie? No, it's going to be a two-part movie, I guess. Who's directing it? Uh, Dennis Villeneuve. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm butchering people's names. He's done. He did Blade Runner 2049. He did. I uh, like that. What did he do before that? He's uh, got a uh, visual uh, sense. It's he, he's good. Arrival before that. that oh, movie that was wrote. good too. Yeah, that was good too. Is and he? Then, he's he a ever, Latino, it, right? He must. Uh, no, he's no, no, uh, he? French Canadian. French Canadian, so you can't, okay. yeah, you can't, okay. claim, can't him, claim him. But yeah, <laughs> but he's. We still have the guy who made. Uh, we have Jodorowsky. We we have Jodorowsky. We've got the the guy who made Gravity and uh, yeah the Bear movie with with uh, Leonardo. Well, Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> yeah, we, just, we got there's a lot of there's a lot of great. I'm uh, Perros, that guy. Yeah, I can't remember either of those guys. Yeah. Name. The guy that oh, did, how about the guy that directed uh, the DiCaprio uh, he, movie where he's uh, fighting the bear. Yeah, what's the name of that movie? Rev, rev, revatory, no, Revelation. No. Yeah. Re, the Reverend. The re, re, rev, rev, Revenant. Revenant. The Reverend? Revenant. That's a great movie, man. It's a great that movie. That opening scene is just oh, yeah, magnificent. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So props to all those guys. Okay. More conquering armies. Yeah. I like this a lot. This is a long... I, I think this I, makes it through the whole first year. There's part of me that wants to see this colorized, but I don't know if it would work uh, because I think the way the blacks are laid out, I don't, I, I think I it, don't think it would it. work. I think it's like uh, like you wouldn't color Sin City. And you, wouldn't color, <laughs> you wouldn't color this either. Well, hell and back, he does color a little bit. But oh, you're right. that's right. He does go into color. He's like, screw it. Lynn needs a job. <laughs> we need to give her some work. She's like, honey. Yeah, I like this a lot. Varley's badass. I she mean, is in badass. In her own right. Man. Oh, yeah, despite anything. No, she's. I ain't got nothing to say about her. She's great. Maybe she got out before he went crazy. Maybe she. Yeah, he's another mystery. There's not too many. There's not too many married couples in comics. There's the Allreds. Oh, yeah. You know, there's Mike and his wife. And uh, she colors. Louise and Walt Simonson. And there's Louise and Walt Simonson. And then there's the, the Millers mm -hmm. who broke up. That's it. John Byrne's wife didn't do comics. Um, Brian Michael Bendis' wife doesn't do comics. Uh, <laughs> not too many. No. Most but of you them stay out him, of the kitchen yeah. or whatever. But you got to give them props for even staying with guys like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. I love this. Oh, and here's Sunspot. Sunpot. Sunpot. They're getting really close to uh, the sun so they could grow that mm. super powerful. Is that the deal? Is that what the storyline is? ridiculous. There's a whole... His lettering's interesting, too. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, and it's I like, it. it's not just a th bold. He's like... Adding the little, I don't know what you call, you know, the ballooned out edges yeah. of the Y. I mean, yeah. he's sitting here, he's like, it's almost like a drawing, you know? Yeah, he took he, care with it. Yeah. I, I think also that's why. And that's kind of and that's kind of seventies like, too. That kind of yeah. art, you know, that like um, Celtic kind. Of, I don't know if that's the right. Hmm. You know. It, yeah. That kind of. I, I never. I guess so, maybe a little bit. But, that. but like you know, if you look at this stuff, yeah. this is like classic that graffiti. graffiti balloon that's, lettering, that's and they got graffiti. that from this dude. Yeah, I gotta think that. So like, subways just, in New York were like, well, the, the, the quick throw ups they would call uh -huh. them, yeah. like you know, yeah, so yeah. they would do do them real quick. The, yeah, there'd be like burner pieces that yeah, would yeah. be intricate, mm -hmm. and and then this kind of balloon lettering. Yeah. You'd see all over the place, you know, yeah. really quick with like just one color fill in. With the quick and little like highlight yeah, with the white gold yeah. spray, right? But, uh, yeah. I got to think that they got that stuff from him. Oh, yeah. Even this, like this chapter heading, like, mm -hmm. it's so it's clever. Yeah, it's really neat. I dig this. 
It's just such a cohesive style. Like everything it, goes together it, with everything. The, like the tails are kind of interesting. Like truncated. Too. Yeah, they're kind of these weird little, and and it never goes into the. Um, but they're the kind of like the way he draws characters too. Like these mm -hmm. really. Yeah, it's all in the same style or kind of theme. theme yeah, they, it just all works together. The lettering, the coloring, mm -hmm. like it's just one guy who had this. This mastery of all these elements. And you said he's, is he French too? Or no, he's he, is American. He, oh, he's American? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the end. Yeah, that was it. That's it. And it's tragic. Now I'm curious, what is he going to do next with for our magazine? The next issue. Or maybe that's it. Maybe we're bringing in some new He does new other stuff, but I think there's... So here's Drulet. So he's... um. He's yeah. doing a number of pieces for this magazine. Yeah, he does. He and writes other guys writing things. Or and artists, and you know. I gotta think that maybe he did layouts or character designs for this because this all this looks very like Drule. Yeah. Like not not the rendering style, but like the sort of the way the, the character, the hat, and mm -hmm. like like these guys here. Those definitely, guys definitely look like yeah. their armor stuff. So maybe he did layouts. Yeah. I, I do. I like this art too. This yeah, this stuff is totally with the hoops and horns and whatever. The almost indecipherable art that I have to like sit here and what the hell? Look, that's blood. That's a hand. What the hell is this? It's foot. You gotta like sit here with it. You can't just gloss over it. Yeah, it's great stuff, man. Yeah. And like you're saying, that kind of like pointing mm -hmm. to yeah, you like. yeah. That that looks like him totally. This cross. I wonder how big this looks like. It could be really, it's really be big, big originals, right? Because like Cause that cross you can't do that. is so fine. You can't do that. Even blown up, you know, half, half. You have to go way twice back. up. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, I dig this. I dig this art too. Mm -hmm. Pretty. That horrific. was like the mystery of Drule when first discovering him and seeing him like mm -hmm. write stuff as well it was like wow this guy's like doing it all he's all over it yeah you know? he's he's a woman gang oh, Long another, Tomorrow by Dan O'Bannon oh, and wow. art by oh. Mobius so this and we was we know him because oh snap yeah is this, this is, what I think this is yeah so this is this is, is uh, Blade Runner yeah so this is this was so Dan O'Brien Wrote, uh, Dan O'Bannon. Uh, sorry, Dan O'Bannon wrote Alien. Yeah, he wrote and Alien. And then, did he write Blade Runner? No. Or no? Uh, he wrote. He did. Uh, he was. He did is, he work with with Ridley Scott at all on Blade Runner? No, I don't think. Okay. I don't think he did. But I think. With with. Um, I think Mobius and Dan O'Bannon met. While, while working, working on, on Alien. Alien. Right. Or Dune or something, right? With Hodorowski, because he was. Well, the, yeah. Well, that's the, that, that's that the thing. That too, was the right? original. Dan was involved with. Well, that, the that the, project. the whole like the whole production team that Jodorowsky put together for Dune for Went the failed Dune project Alien, right? got picked up because for a minute, I guess Ridley Scott was gonna do Dune too, uh, ah. after Jodorowsky bailed. But then he turned it around and did this Alien thing. I guess he got. A, he, Dan O'Bannon turned him on to, to Geiger. Geiger, and then that it was mm. all over. But yeah, this was also a big inspiration, really, Scott, for making Blade Runner. Oh, um, this is cool. So it, it it's not like a d direct adaptation. But, look, but you look at this, yeah. and in Call too, you'll see it pieces oh, yeah, of it in yeah, Call. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, dude, you can tell that this guy designed some this whole the whole uh, vertical city, yeah. these you know funky little. Flying vehicles. And the, another cool thing is that Ridley Scott does like a, storyboards, his his uh, his comics. I mean, yeah. his comics, his movies. The movies, yeah, he does. And he does incredible storyboards, and they really, really, like, you can tell he was looking at a lot of Mobius. Mm. Because, you know, it's... it's uh, As far as the uh, compositions? Compositions, or, or the even line like quality. The look, or really, even like, the line quality. Not, you can... He's not as much cross hatching, but like kind of a simplified yeah, version. Yeah, he definitely got a little. Is there a book? Is there? Is there? No, a I don't book know why they would. Scott storyboards. storyboards. I would buy that in a second. Because you know Miyazaki's coming. There now, yeah. you can get books yeah. of all of Miyazaki movies, yeah. storyboards, a lot of those like Ghibli movies, and and now that's becoming kind of a thing. Where like, oh, you like this animation? 
here's the book of the storyboards yeah. for the I, and I, usually it's like the guys who like like the one artist design. who did you know all those yeah. i've got the, i've got that for like several movies that i like like mm -hmm. i've got one for uh um i have dracula, tron actually. i have who? francis francis ford coppola dracula i have that oh, i'll no. bring it in oh that's awesome. it's, i actually have the shooting script oh a guy, wow i know a guy who worked on the film yeah and the shooting script has all the things. I'll show it. I'll bring yeah, it. It's yeah. The ones, the ones I'm talking about, like they're readily available on Amazon. Yeah. There's like production design for like Tron, or like mm -hmm. I've got one for Chappie. Cause oh yeah, yeah. I love uh, Neil Blomkamp. Yeah, is that how you say his yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Try not to butcher people's names, dude. But... This channel is all about that. The art of butchering names <laughs> in comics. <laughs> this, is this is just great. this is. I always find this cool fascinating. Story. The when you're doing the action of how to draw it, do you do it on the impact? Do you do it right before? Do you do it right after with the effects? You know what I mean? There's all these yeah. little stages. And I always find it interesting how certain certain artists do it a certain way. Like Kirby will draw it at one spot, you know? Yeah. And maybe he draws it at a different... And I think this is more common now where you draw actually the effect afterwards yeah. of the punch or the kick. Instead of the point of contact. Yeah, the point... Of, you know, there used to be the point of contact with like a star yeah. or... You know what I mean? Or... I think the point of contact because it, it seems or, like or the sometimes more you'll instinctual... Like, like Beasley would do... Oh, yeah. I love would, that. Would kind of, show yeah. the cheek being pushed yeah. out. I love that. Because he likes the... Because he's... You I can like tell that that's his personality yeah. too. Like he wants to see the connection. Yeah. Um, but I do like when they have the space of like, like someone's in midair, they're falling or, yeah. you know, and you see the, like yeah. there's no motion lines used here, but yeah. you can see movement yeah. anyways. Yeah. Yeah. And I also would be tempted to like, like do a little like, yeah. <laughs> or the, the ones around the body yeah. showing like something happening. This is really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I dig this. Whoa. So there's much. some gnarly torture ish. Yeah, so this guy's a detective down. and stuff, so yeah. he's obviously running into some yeah. foul situations. And again, of course, Mobius with his designs, his costume designs, he's just. Uh, I know, that, you know, and the but, way he did stuff yeah. was just so unusual that, like, yeah. you know, like the, the American comics tendency would make to make him look like super badass, like, you know. Yeah. Militaristic, probably. Right. But, but you like, would think that's kind of darky. Like, why would you have yeah, a colorful exactly. hat? I mean, it looks like a like a cop from London. Yeah, but like then he's a got bobby like, hat, a bobby hat, shrunk but down. Then, and then he's got like blue and what the hell? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. But it's not about like utility. It's about this strange other world. Yeah, and, and the, making and, it as and the as colorful designs. Like, hey, I got comics. I can use all my colors. Why not? Yeah. You know. Um. Now we would say okay. Here's your palette. You know, here's your toned down three color palette. You're gonna do the whole comic. He's he's using every color in the I rainbow. Wonder if, if that was like instinctual as he went. Like this this story looks like he's he's to me, I don't know, maybe I'm making this up, but like like he's drawing it as he's reading the script. Mm. Like page by page, and not like thinking of the over yeah. the, the whole Yeah arc of the story he's okay. just like cool going one. with it yeah stream of consciousness style yeah that's, that's cool too yeah i dig it oh and, more uh, crossroads inky Bilal. the this amazing inky Bilal. this is great another like uh yeah French uh, different than the painting that normally we see yeah but this this blew my mind too i love this guy's yeah. stuff it's heavy detail heavy just reminds like, me of Topi. This kind of reminds me of like, you yeah. know, little Topi. Topi but yeah. like, Topi exaggerates, like. Yeah, yeah. Topi's more expressive, yes. exaggerate, yeah, you know, yeah. lanky and big. And this is more like realism in, in proportions as as and stuff. proportions go, yeah. Right? I would say. But yeah, like, t tremendously like OCD style cross hatching. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God. like Just the time. I'm, I'm just. But there again, it doesn't time. look overworked to me. It looks like. The majority, like he's using these lines to define mm -hmm. form, yeah. Like all this unevenness, mm -hmm. right? Like that's that, that's such a great like this kind of stuff when you're the, doing walls is yeah. such a great trick. Like yeah, the lines, the shadow. It's yeah. like that, that's that's master stuff. You don't you just put 
that's to I I I'm projecting this takes him doing this for a while figuring yeah, this out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. Like like he figured this out after doing so many arches his yeah. whole life. He's like, okay, this is how I do it, and this is what works. And um, um, we have the benefit of looking at like the lessons that he learned. Yeah, and stealing them. Stealing them. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Or, or attempting to steal them anyway. Yeah. To some degree. Never really a stealing as well as the original, yeah. you know. This is, I just love the way he renders. Like yeah. I love that cross hatching. It's like yeah. a lot of guys. Uh, it's like, interesting. He never goes back to that. Or in his early I mean, stuff, does he, does he start here and then he goes into the more a little almost not looser, but just the painted, which might actually take less time than this. It looks looser uh, and it looks more. You know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Some of that stuff's intricate. Intricate yeah. too, like, but in a different way than yeah. this is. But it's like this is, yeah. this is like it, Bernie Wrightson. Yeah. Franklin Booth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who else? Like super detailed, like. Yeah, those it's two. Amazing. Yeah, it's great. And the depth too. You see, but I mean, like, it, he's not like stylistically. Aside from the cross hatching, I don't think he has much in common with those artists. But just the level of. Of knowing, knowing like where to put these lines, where to mm -hmm. stop, where, mm -hmm. where, where, how much to push it right. to make a, a great looking picture. Like this guy's still the focal point of mm -hmm. this whole craziness that's going on. Yeah, but he's still with a bird craving ahead. <laughs> he's still clearly the focal point yeah. of the of the drawing. Yeah. That's great. That's a little guy there. And then the more, man, Mobius is just all over this magazine. Yeah, well, he's prolific. Prolific guy. It's crazy, like, wordless. I love his wordless stuff. What is this little guy? It's like a oh, stereo. A phone, yeah, phone cartridge. Oh, a little cartridge for the your record player. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. So this is issue four of uh, Heavy Metal. Thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.